You ever had parents, anybody listening to this show, ever had your parents, if they're in their 60s, 50s, or 60s, or maybe a grandpa, and they call you or they send you an email with a frantic warning that they read something on the Internet? <laughs> oh, my God, 9-11 was a government conspiracy. Uh, Barack Obama's from Yemen. Uh, dinosaurs don't exist. The government just planted the bones. We didn't land on the moon. And it's usually older people. It's our grandma or it's our grandpa. And the reason this is, don't blame them, I'm mocking them here, but let's be honest, it's the written word. And in the world a 60, 70-year-old person grew up in, the written word you could trust, it came from men and women at newspapers who were educated and accredited, and there were standards, and you could be fired, and you had to be accountable. So as a lot of people in this country get to their 60s and 70s, and they were weaned on newspapers, people you could trust. Now we read the internet. Anybody can write a blog. Anybody can go to a message board. The accuracy rates down to about 8% now of the written word. When Lane Kiffin got fired, oh, the internet said he was the worst coach ever. You know who didn't? Nick Saban. It was scorched earth. Kiffin was toxic. You read them their websites, message boards, Lane Kiffin can't coach. Nick Saban knows more than all of us, and he hired him. Last night, it wasn't Alabama's defense. It wasn't Nick Saban's defense. It wasn't Alabama's front seven. It got torched. It was Lane Kiffin in what was one of the most masterful game plans against a real team in Clemson I've ever seen. Alabama was unbelievable. Nine for 18 on third down, 13 and a half yards per pass attempt, no turnovers, virtually no penalties. That was Lane Kiffin's game. Oh, it's Nick Saban's program. The special teams were fantastic. And I don't want to hear, well, that's just Alabama players. No, no. That quarterback, he's not going to play in the NFL. He's not even in Mel Kuyper's top 10. No, that was Lane Kiffin. No penalties, no turnovers. He found a wide receiver, tight end O.J. Howard. And Kiffin, when he was coaching USC, never really loved the tight end. Like he used to be mocked out here. He was bubble screens, never threw to the tight end. And USC had good tight ends. O.J. Howard last night had the greatest game a tight end's ever had in a national championship game. And Bama's always effective with Nick Saban, but they're rarely fun. Last night was fun. They were flashy. And they took chances, and they were smart, and they were powerful. Alabama was everything offensively last night. That was a masterpiece. B hey, dinosaurs don't exist. Barack Obama's from Yemen. 9-11. Red Bull contains bull semen. I read it on the Internet. Yes, that's the Internet. Nick Saban doesn't have time for it. He just goes out and hires really smart football people. And last night... That was Lane Kiffin's offense. It was unbelievable with a non-NFL quarterback. That was fantastic and fun.